Oh, it found it. Oh my god, I lost my password. Now I don't know how to decrypt my private key. So you generated a BIP38 Bitcoin paper wallet and you encrypted it with a password. You have the slightest idea of what it might be, but you forgot your password. So let's do this together. We're gonna brute force it with this brute force 38. I didn't create it myself. I had to make some changes and now I think it is ready for you guys to try out. Get yourself a copy. You can find it at Fortcoin Project or down in the description. Download it, just go here, click the download the zip file and let's extract the zip file on our desktop. So we have our brute force 38 master on our desktop. I would recommend using Notepad++ as your notepad, just because it's coding friendly. In order for us to use this BIP38 brute forcer, we only need to have one dependency. So the only thing that I needed was Node.js. So go to nodejs.org and download the latest version for Windows. Recommended for most users. I think it will work on 10, I think it will work on 12. Press next, I accept. This is important. Make sure you do not touch this add to path. Press next. Okay, so we installed Node.js. Now we have to go to the brute forcer folder. Let's click on your address bar here. Make sure you select everything on top here. Copy this path, as they call it. There's logo, type CMD for command prompt. Open a command prompt window. In your command prompt window, type CD for change directory, space, and then right click. If you did copy the address, it will automatically paste it here when you right click in the command prompt window. Press enter you will be moved to this directory. So if we would write directory, D-I-R, we will see that we are in the same directory. You see that it's the same BIP38 decryption helper, client.js, client.js, you see it's, we are in the same. Let's open the readme. All the information is usually in the readme file. Uh, install node, so we did that. We installed node and npm. Uh, we have a clone of our BIP38, so let's install it. Back to the command prompt window. In the command prompt window, we're gonna tell Node to install all the dependencies for the brute force. And within this folder, all we have to write is npm install g, press enter. And as you can see in the screen now, it's searching for the dependencies and we're gonna install the dependencies. And we get a small error. npm install, npm link. Let's try npm link. So we installed a couple of patches, so so npm install save bip38, which is a dependency to be able to encrypt and decrypt bip38. Now we need to make a small change in the bip38 dependency. Let's go to the bip38 folder, so change directory, type node and press tab and backspace and then bip38 and press enter. In this bip38 folder we need to npm install, again npm install double dash yes save bip38 if you use to install did you name your project the same as the dependency you're installing well then do the next one npm i npm at latest g making sure we have the latest npm maybe we don't have the latest one i don't know added a lot of packages now we need to change one small line in the index.js if you don't do this you will continuously get an error and even though the brute forcer will work you will see errors and we need to go to bip38 again and within bip38 open index.js go to line 128 and just make a comment out of this by giving it a double slash forward and save this file i think that we might be able uh, to try the brute force and maybe it will work already i don't know i'm not sure let's run it node space start js apparently it is working so you guys see it is trying different combinations and in the source code there is already a public key a private key and setup has been configured to be able to brute force it on the first try we did it we brute force it as you can see it says password is found and is saved to a certain location valid secret.json what is this valid secret.json go back to your brute force 38 master folder and you will see here valid secret and you will see hey it was just a testing password i didn't expect it to be this easy we got a lot of errors doesn't matter, it did install all the dependencies that we needed. That is all that we needed to do to install this brute forcer. Yeah! So now we have our brute forcer installed and ready to go. It's not yet configured for our private key, but we know that it is working now. 
It's not the fastest brute forcer. It definitely is not the fastest brute forcer, but it definitely is a brute forcer that might be might be helpful for people that almost know their password. You might have a small typo. It's not a brute forcer to try every password because it's a very slow brute forcer. So if you for some reason would stop the brute force, it would automatically save all the password that it already has tried. So it will automatically skip the passwords that it already tried. And you can find those in this file called invalid secrets. So these are the password that it did try. You need to have a main idea of what you're actually hunting for. I use this array here, the H's, the E's and the Y's here. So we go to this Bitcoin paperwallet.com and let's generate a new address. This website uses entropy as they call it, random movements of your mouse and your keyboard. So we have to create some entropy first. We got ourselves a private key. We have a public key and let's copy paste all this stuff. We just generated a new wallet. Let us copy the private key and our public key. So public. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna encrypt our private key. Let's give it a simple password. Let's call it bit. Turn on the encryption, give it a moment, and let's write that down. Here we have, so this is the encrypted priv key with the password bit. And let's encrypt it another time with another password Bitcoin. C zero. Let's add a number. Well, let's add just 38 because of the bit 38. A new private key. You cannot do anything with this private key. You need to have this password that we just created. Two versions of the same address. Just a reminder, a public key is almost the same as an address. In the next episode, we're gonna configure this brute forcer for the private keys that we just created in this episode. So I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Thank you all for being here and see you guys again in the next episode. Oh! Got him! This secret word that we see here actually means this word over here. I'm gonna try this B plus exclamation, which means the I's in this situation here. So it's gonna try the B's first, one B. After the B, it's gonna paste one of this list of I's.